All right, man, Torture Talk. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning out there. How y'all doing this morning? Come on in, come on in, man. Come on in, step your ass up in here. Hey, man, look, man. So today we're going to be talking about your boy, uh, Drake. Juicy, Drizzy, Juicy Drake has no songs on the Hot 100. Not one. No features, no nothing. No songs on the Hot 100. Now, we talking about Drake. So, uh, Charlemagne has some things to say, and then we're going to post some things about Drake, you know, not having no songs on the Hot 100. And then, um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. It's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. All the single, sexy, beautiful ladies. Put one in the chat. One. One in the chat. All the fellas that's new here, go find those ones, man. Go find those ones. But just don't harass them, though. You better shoot your shot. Shoot it right. You know what I'm saying? They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. About to be a million by Monday morning. And uh, let me know where you're from, too, man. I like to, 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 you know, when people tell me where they're from and all that stuff. So, look, man, we're going to get into it. And, uh, yeah, we be back. All right, so let's get it, man. Let's get it. <laughs> it's come courtesy of, uh, I can't even see the name. Anyway. It's on the screen and it's going to be in the description. Uh, I'm too far away from the screen. I can't see it. So, um, yeah, so we're going with the name, man. We're going to uh, put him in the description. Make sure y'all go follow him. Get him up over 10,000 subscribers, too. All right, let's go. And this is all. Uh, this he is also is in the mix of reports that Drake uh, unfollowed. Alleged, uh, well, <laughs> unfollowed. Oh. Oh. And also, I'm going to be honest, uh, I thought that Kendrick's execution of this battle was flawless, the strategy, the songs, everything. But I didn't think that it had that much of an impact on Drake. Drake hurt. They, 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 oh, my God. And this is all. Uh, this <laughs> is also is hurt. in the mix of reports that Drake uh, unfollowed, alleged, uh, well, <laughs> unfollowed uh, LeBron, DeMar DeRozan. You know, those are two people who were at the Not Like Us Dream Team. <gasps> no, man. De De DeRozan was on the stage. So, and... I don't know his reasonings for unfollowing. Now, I want to speak on that real quick before we go any further. The execution of Kendrick. Um, the thing is about Kendrick Lamar, he's very strategic. He's always been strategic when it comes to, you got to be careful when you're dealing with, when you're battling or you're dealing with somebody like Kendrick Lamar. And the reason why is because if a person only comes out with albums every couple of years, then you already know that they're on some different type of time. They don't, they don't just do something right away. That's what people got to understand about Kendrick. And I think that that's what happened uh, with Drake. I think Drake took it, he took, he took it for granted. And he, and everybody, and everybody thought that since Kendrick was dragging his feet, that he didn't have anything. Even Fat Joe came out and said, I don't think Kendrick's going to respond. I believe Kendrick responded the next day or something like that. I don't know. But it's just crazy to me how, how uh, a lot of these artists, especially like Drake, they sleep on Kendrick Lamar and they know how good he is. For example, like Lupe. Lupe sleeps on Kendrick so much because he thinks, the thing about Lupe is Lupe thinks because he's a great lyricist that he is, that that can get him over, over anybody. It doesn't work like that because there are people who are just as good or even better than you in lyrics, but they can do much more than you. And plus they are more appealing. So the thing about lyrics and the thing about strategy is you can't just rely on your words when you're battling somebody like Drake. You have to do much more than that. It has to be moments within moments, if that makes sense. But you know, they're, they're, that is a thing. You can't go on an unfollow spree and go on a stage and cry about, you know, pe not having no real friends or whatever that, that was about, and then going to Beyonce, me, myself, and I. It's like, man, Envy, take, you would have did that? Well, Envy. He, he did the unfollow weeks before. <laughs> so let me but just I'm put just that saying, out it's, there. It's like, it's the fact that you know that people go on. 
No, he didn't do the unfollows weeks before. Nah, he just recently did some of these unfollows. This is wasn't this wasn't weeks before. And again, I just feel like I feel like sometimes what happens is the fucking ash on my face. What the hell? Let me get that out of there. That's that's gray hair, man. Shit, crazy. I feel like sometimes when it comes to Drake, y'all give him excuses, and it's like, well, let's say, okay. To be fair, it's like, it's like get get out of here with that. Get out of here with the to be fairs. Like, nah. Oh, oh, well. To be fair, you have to understand he did that already. Like, nah, 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 nah. Uh, uh-uh, uh. We ain't doing the to be fairs around here. It's not working. It's not happening, homeboy. Not happening. Throw all that into a pot and mix it up. I wouldn't even want to set myself up like that. I, you, there's nothing wrong with that man expressing his feelings. Aren't you having a panel about men crying? To just hear his feelings. Aren't you having a panel about men crying or men releasing or something like that? You can't show that after getting your ass kicked in a rap man. battle like that. Like Kendra. I hate to say this, but <laughs> isn't that coming from envy? <laughs> Put two and two together, nigga. <laughs> you already know what the time it is. Dark skin niggas is back, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Dark skin niggas is back. But look, and I'm just joking about that. But look, here's the thing, right? Why, why is it like, oh, what's so wrong with Bill Fume expressing your feelings? You already know why. You can't take a major. Uh, first of all, you are in a, you are in a different class of of a uh, of a uh, popularity i should say when it comes to drake you can't express yourself no more you can't unless you're doing an interview in front of people who really don't care for that they only there to hear your music they don't care about what you what you're just yeah oh uh, the funny thing about nostalgia is is you know people you think are your friends are really not your friend like bro that makes it look even worse because now people looking at you like Damn, Kendrick really messed you up, bro. <laughs> like, he really smoked you, bro. He really did. Lamar got his foot. When I tell you Kendrick Lamar put his foot all the way up okay. Drake's ass, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he put his foot all the way up Drake's ass, and he is wiggling his toes. You hear me? When Cass does it stop? Is crazy. <laughs> when does it stop? Cass is crazy. Cass. To the calf is crazy. Now, I, I, um... <laughs> I didn't know Kendrick had kicked his ass like this. I knew he won the battle. But this man is hurting. Yes. This feeling. Why does he sound like that though? <laughs> why does Drake sound like like uh uh? Why does he sound like a girl from New York? <laughs> why does he sound like a female from New York, nigga? <laughs> He sound like a girl from New York. <laughs> Listen to this. It's funny as hell. The battle. <laughs> but this man is hurting. Yes. This feeling. Uh, uh, Listen, I'm going to tell you one thing about the nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia this part of the year. My real friends are definitely in the building. <laughs> Yo, he don't sound like a chick from New York, bro. All the New York chicks tell me he don't sound like y'all. <laughs> but I'm a I'm a overdub ice spice voice over this nigga. Yo, he sounds like a chick from New York, bro. <laughs> Calm down, nigga. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna come to a point in life where people you thought were friends, or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try to move funny with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization. Wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone. (laughs) Oh, man. This dude here, bro. I swear. I swear. This is the worst ever for this dude, bro. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I never seen nothing like this. This is worse than Ja Rule. This is worse. You know what I'm saying? This is worse than Ja Rule. I'm going to start saying you got draked. I ain't going to say you got Ja Rule. I'm going to say you got draked. Because this is worse. 
This is worse. Kendrick got him sounding like a girl from New York. Damn, bro. You sound like a chick from New York. You know how they have that accent? <laughs> oh, man. This, bro, I'm telling you, man. I've never seen nothing like this. Drake was about to go on a full rant. He was, sometimes it's just you with your thoughts. And sometimes you just want to say, fuck these niggas. <laughs> Not mad at them. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Kendrick got all the slaves for you, nigga. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Kendrick got all the slaves free, nigga. That's what happened. He freed the slaves from you, you oppressor. <laughs> you colonizer. <laughs> That's what happened. Take your ass back to Toronto, boy. That's where he was at. <laughs> like, at least that's where I think he was at. But yeah, man, that's crazy. Charlamagne and them right, man. They're right. When they say, when Kendrick said, tuck a sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes, oh my God. Bro, I think what they, I think what, what would be genius, you know what my merch should be? The, Jake, the, the Drake pajamas. I should sell that. Yo, I shouldn't have said that. Because now somebody's going to take my idea. But you heard it here first. If you see somebody with the Drake pajamas, the sensitive, the, the sensitive uh, pajamas, yeah, you heard it here first on Torture Talk. Make sure you make sure y'all tag me in it and be like, "Yo, you gotta get paid." This dude came out with the sensitive pajamas, the Drake jump, the, the Drake jumpsy, uh, jumpy jumper, or whatever it is called, the Drake onesie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drake jumper. The sensitive pajama neck uh, clothes. That's what it is, man. I'm serious. It just, to me, it just seems like this is what it is. Not mad at him. So that was apparently Drake addressing the fake friends. Now, we've come to learn and find out that a lot of people that have been around Drake aren't really fond of him and don't really fuck with him. And what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, was Lil Yachty was at Bad Blood. Let me see if I can find Lil Yachty at Bad Blood on Twitter. Let's see, search it. Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty was here at Bad Blood with Quavo. There he goes, right there. And Peter Rosenberg. <laughs> right? And you know whose room this was at Bad Blood? Metro Boomin at Bad Blood. It was Metro fucking Boomins. If they showed a fucking clip of Metro. Okay, they're not gonna, they're not gonna show Metro. <laughs> they did like an interview with them. Where is it? Anyways. But yeah, look who's there. Metro was there for sure. This I chick looked like a <laughs> plethora of women to me. Like I got a question. Um, I don't really know what this means. Maybe I'm lost. I don't know. But what does this mean? What does this mean when they do this? Like, I see a lot of people putting their finger to their mouth. Are they showing off their teeth? Like, what is this? Like, what is this? And another thing, too, maybe this is me with a conspiracy theorist thing. I never understood why people do a peace sign separated. Right? They go peace, right? But why not put it together? I know that's not my idea. I'm just saying it's like, but you see, it's together. Right? You really know when you put that together, you know what that's for, right? <laughs> You know what that's for, right, ladies? <laughs> nah, let me stop playing. But no, um, I don't understand what that means. Like, what does that mean? I, I guess, I don't know. Maybe they showing off their grill or something. I don't know. I see a lot of people doing that. But, uh, yeah, let's let's continue on. Like, I was like, is that her or is that her? Nah, that ain't. He's either one of the girls. I think that's just some random woman that he's dating or, or married to. Shout out to Metro and his lady. Um, 
But yeah, Metro was there, but that was his room. Like Metro was like guest host with Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair and Naomi. So they had like a Yeah, that chick Jay Jay Cargill. That's a bad woman, man. She is bad. Beautiful, full lips, full face. She is a beautiful woman, man. Jesus. Bianca Belair is beautiful, too. But that chick, J. Carhill, oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> yeah, you see her on the screen. <laughs> man, I tell you. Private room you know upper room type vibe and and it was metro's room so metro and lil yachty were cool in it and i think drake just caught wind of that and he just wanted to let it be known like look i see all the fakeness all the fakeness going on i only follow all of you niggas because y'all are fake this nigga metro boom in and future literally went and visited all the niggas that didn't like me and said, hey, we're making an album dissing a, dissing Drake. I want to hop on. And all these niggas hopped on. Except for Quavo and Lil Baby. Shout out to them. <laughs> well, all these niggas hopped on. But, <clears throat> and I don't think he, I'm just, I'm thinking he's just saying this. Um, the thing is, too, you got to take into consideration that all the shit he has done that led to that. Like, Drake, Drake. Drake is not innocent in this. He deserves everything he gets when it comes to people not talking to him anymore. He literally openly was doing things and trying to do things with people's uh, girlfriends, ex girl Listen, I'm going to tell y'all one thing I don't play with. I don't play with niggas' girls. I don't. One of my boys' girls come around, I fuck all that. I, I, hey, how you doing? And I keep it moving. I don't play with these girls. If, <clears throat> if, if, if your girl introduced herself, herself to me, I think that's disrespectful. I think that you, you, if you with if you with your man, <clears throat> you're supposed to lead. He's supposed to lead you to me to say, "Hey, how you doing?" You get what I'm saying? I think it's very disrespectful. Just like, just like I think it's disrespectful if one of my friends was to try to introduce themselves to my girl. No, nigga, uh, uh-uh, uh, we ain't playing that. If I don't introduce you to her, you don't introduce yourself. We don't, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh-uh, uh, nigga, you don't do that. You don't introduce yourself to my girl. Hey, how you doing? My nah, 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 nah. I'll introduce you to her. And I'll introduce her to you. If I don't introduce you to her, I don't want you to know her. That's just how it goes. We not, we not, we not playing this game. And I think it's the same thing for a woman. You with somebody, you should know your place. And that's that's on both sides. I'm not gonna go and introduce myself to my 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 girl's uh friends. Hey, how you doing? My name is... Nah, 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 nah. I'm not doing that. If I'm with her and she brings me somewhere, I'm going to give her the respect. And if she introduced me to somebody, then I'll be like, hey, how you doing? Other than that, I'm not going to volunteer that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Popped on the album, this and Drake, with, with, with Future and the fire-ass Metro Boomin' beats. But, yeah. Yeah, there was some fire beats on there too. That's true, but you gotta understand this is where Drake that that that's where Drake was at. He was doing things and saying things and doing things with dudes with dudes significant others. And I know people saying, "Well, that's it. These girls are for everybody." No, no, no. If I see, I don't care if the girl's a whore, hoe. I don't care if she got she got gang bang. I don't care if you if I walk in the door with her, respect me. If she walk in the door with me, respect me. Respect her. Don't wait until I walk away and then try to slide to your number. I never, I never agreed with that. I never agreed with that. I never agreed with the saying, don't leave your girl around me. I, true player for real. Ask, but nah, I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because if we friends, uh-uh. And I know people saying, well, if that's your girl, then she shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, that too. I agree with that too. But... I'll put it to you like this. Ain't no, is no coochie that good enough in the world for me to try to holler at somebody's girl if I know they, um, they dealing with that person. I don't care. 
I don't care what they look like. Looks don't phase me at all. I don't care. I had super bad bitches. I do not care about that. And I think that that's what happened with a lot of people. A lot of people, Drake slid in their DMs and he said all these things and he did all these things. And that's why people don't mess with him. I, that's one of the reasons why I believe. It was nasty work. He did it twice. The work was so nasty, they did it twice. One time where Kendrick Lamar was the feature artist on one of the songs on the first album, and then the next album, The Weeknd was the feature artist on, on a few of the songs. So I think clearly... The weekend was, uh, I think The Weeknd clear. was on the first album, too. I think he was on the first album, too. Yeah, I think it was on the first album. That was the... I believe that was the second single. And then the second album, I believe it was ASAP Rocky and somebody else. Maybe The Weeknd was on both albums. I didn't really listen to the second album like that. The first one I did. I mean, it was cool. It was cool. I just liked the song with The Weeknd and liked the song with uh with, with Kendrick. Like that. Yeah, that was it. But let's keep it going. Really, this was a strategized plan to get this nigga Drake the fuck up out of here. We all know that at this point. We all know that. But but my question to y'all is, right, everybody that say that this was a strategy, a strategized plan to get Drake out of here. Why would they want to do that? If Drake was helping people get to number one, why would they want to get him out of here? Why? That's the that's the question that nobody's answering. If if Drake if Drake if if Drake was, if, let's say for instance Drake was cool with all these dudes, y'all think he would be doing that? If Drake didn't do some of the stuff that he did, you think people would have tried to get him out of here? What if Drake was actually a good guy? What if he was a good guy? You think they would have tried to did that to him? No, they wouldn't have did that. They wouldn't have did that. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have did it. I think that when people say, well, this was a, a, a collaborative effort to get Drake out of here. Okay. But my question to y'all is, but why? Why did they want to get him out of here? It can't be because he was killing the game. He was number one all the time. Like, no. Because if that's the case, then... If you're cool with the dude, then why not work with him? And then you'd be number one too, right? That's the case. Like, <clears throat> but he's he, Drake's going on saying, "Oh, you, 